Hey everybody, here with a quick review and unveiling video of the uh, Flyhawk brand Renault FT17. This is a 172nd scale kit. They actually make two versions of the kit, a cast turret and the riveted turret. Here's the completed model. I'll throw up some still photos, we can look at it more in a minute. But first I was going to tell you a little bit about the kit. Really neat kit, inexpensive. It actually comes with two copies of the tank, so you get to build two tanks. Uh, for one price, which is really neat. Flyhawk seems to be better known for ships and some uh, aftermarket photo etch, which maybe that's why they make such a really great small kit. Um, I normally build 135th scale, but uh, I got into this because of scale model group, uh, the scale model critique group having a small ass group build, and thought I'd uh, join join in. And uh, Doug from Doug's Models was building one of these and was giving it a great. Uh, review kind of in the group, so I figured I'd try it out myself. Uh, first off, the engineering is really impressive. Uh, a lot of the the pieces actually come pretty much pre-built, and the amount of detail they're fitting on this 172nd scale tank with the rivets, the panel lines, it's really out of this world. So you get basically a large piece that is the chassis, the turret, also comes as one nice big piece. Probably the coolest part of the kit, the tracks actually come as one big run that slide onto the drivetrain once you create it. Um, really lets you build them up and weather them off the kit. It also comes with a photo etch fret for each tank. So you get two of these. All of the photo etch is optional. They actually uh, have styrene options for just about everything um they have i believe let me see six versions of the tank uh in this boxing the riveted turrets a little different but one of the only bad things about the kit is they give you these beautiful different versions here's the kind of the full size but they don't tell you anything about them. With a little Googling, you can you can figure it out based on the language on the side of the tank and the markings. They do have a couple of French versions. This is the one I built. Um, they have an American tank from the First World War. Um, I believe there's an Italian and a Moroccan tank here, which is pretty neat. These saw widespread use in the immediate post-First World period. So if you have a certain uh, area or country you're interested in, it, 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 either one of the two versions of this might build up nicely for you. So aside from the decals, the one photo etch fret, you get just two big styrene, you know, runners with the parts to build a tank, but a lot of the parts come on little separate runners. This is one of the versions of the uh, the front drive wheel, um, which actually wooden uh, most of these tanks back then. It's pretty neat. Uh, the instructions are nice, straightforward. You see the optional photo etch pieces are all in blue. The entire build is in just eight steps. Here's how the uh, tracks attach to the running gear, which is probably one of the coolest things in the engineering here. Now, uh, the FT-17 is a really important tank from a historical perspective. It's really the, the prototype of a tank with a turret on top with the gun and the turret. It had a two-man crew. The idea behind it was it was going to be a small swarming tank. You know, what it came before it were those behemoth Mark I, Mark IV, trapezoidal-looking British tanks, as well as the, uh, the German uh, A7V, which, you know, had crews of like a dozen men, incredibly slow, Sponsons on the side, no turret. Um, this is really the critter that eventually inspired all kind of modern tanks. It's a great little build. You can certainly build it up in one night. Uh, affordable. You get two for the price of one, which is pretty neat. Um, really absolutely zero issues with the build. You know, the hard part of this guy was painting him up in a little black line camo, which I had to hand, uh, hand paint. It's tough in this scale. And the camo scheme itself is a little tough. I used the Panzer Putty to lay it out. And I used Mr. Paint paints on this um, because they're really resilient. And I knew I'd be puttying and, and uh, kind of respraying a lot. And so they, uh, they're hardy. You can't really peel them off. 
some pigments, some oil work afterwards. Anyway, nice little kit. Highly recommended to anyone interested in First World War or uh, 172nd scale tanks. Just to give you an idea of the size of this thing. I mean, you can see it on that Tamiya glue bottle. But this is a... Here's my ubiquitous Sherman. That's a 135th scale Sherman. There's the 172nd scale FT-17. So tiny little thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, reply, comments with any questions.